it's costing us tax dollars for these police officers to help this sick man right here. Oh, check it out, money mindset. Poor people always say what? Wealthy people don't care about anybody but themselves. They only care about money. Money is the root of all evil, poor people will say. Number one, the Bible says the love of money, the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. But you see, God is love in 1 John 4, 8. God does not just have love. He is love. Can you fathom it? Can you fathom it? God is love. It doesn't say God has love. He is love. He is infinite in love, just like he made us infinite in value, you see? Just like his son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for us. That is love. Jesus Christ paid the price for us. But God is love, you see? God loves us unconditionally. Whereas poor people love other people for pretend. Poor people love people when there's something in it for them, whether it's sex, drugs, or anything else that costs money, when, or when it's them working on the job and getting paid for it, and have no time for you when they're not getting paid for it. And in fact, when they're getting paid, they don't even care enough for you when they're getting paid for it. Okay as demonstrated by my opening uh, statement. This guy is costing us tax dollars for the police to come and save his life. Now, I was at the Metro, okay? And this man was literally dying. And by the way, Black Lives Matter, it was a black man. And by the way, there were about 15 cops who had to resuscitate him. Well, they didn't have to. They were desperately wanting to save this man's life. He was not breathing. He was passed out. He was not breathing. And I witnessed about 15 Latino cops, maybe some white guys. I wasn't paying attention. I was on my knees begging the Lord to save this man's life because I believe he was either on drugs or had some type of medical condition where he passed out and he was not breathing. You couldn't, you couldn't see or you could see that he was not breathing, okay? And so this poor man and this poor maintenance guy, and I know he was a maintenance guy because he got on the train when the train arrived when he was supposed to be cleaning, but he didn't do it because he hates everybody, okay? He doesn't care about the customers who have to ride with garbage, french fries all over the seats. He cares about someone like me caring for him while he's on the clock. He used that statement in order to get me to speak to him because I was speaking to another guy asking him what was wrong with this black guy that was, and I said black lives because black lives matter, but so do blue lives. I'm trying to demonstrate the point. The point is though that all lives matter and that poor people don't see it that way though. Poor people see it as I need to get, I need to take. Wealthy people see as I need to give, I need to, oops, I'm sorry, I need to give, I need to give. See, I was on my knees begging the Lord to save this man's life, but I was also on my knees thanking him for the cops and all the good people that I believe were around me because it just takes one bad person like this poor guy and don't tell me that he's any good. Don't tell me he's a good guy. I believe he is. I don't want to believe that. I believe that he's evil because he, he I know he was using that statement because he doesn't know how to talk to people and he wanted a gorgeous, sexy woman like me to talk to him who hasn't had sex in 12 years because I'm the best wife ever. It'll be 12 years next month. But he was using that to get someone like me to care for him but you see I don't care to me when you care about money that is evil you are evil when you only care about someone when you are on the clock when in reality like I said he didn't care he didn't care about the passengers he didn't clean the train enough he I don't even think he did anything except go on and look around and see all the garbage and leave it there so why does he even deserve the money that he's getting he doesn't care about the customers he doesn't care about the guy that was dying now you're going to tell me that when you tell somebody that you're a friend to them, but only when you're getting paid for it, whether it's a customer, your boss, your coworkers, you're telling me that when you tell them you care about them, but only see them 
at work and only care about them at work, you're telling me you're a good person? You're telling me that you care about people only when it's on the clock and that that is true love and true caring. You're telling me that when you are sick and you're doubled over in pain from your appendix or something like that and you want to call the ambulance but you don't have insurance and all you're worried about is that it's going to cost you $600 so you don't go to the ambulance you're telling me that you care about people including yourself I know because I've had those thoughts I don't want to go to the hospital it's going to cost a lot of money I don't have insurance you're telling me that you're driving down the road and you're making sales on your cell phone, texting people, thinking about your own money, but you're not thinking about your life or your kids' lives or anybody lives on the road. You're telling me that you're a good person? Poor people are selfish and greedy. I don't want to say all poor people are bad, but they only care about what they can get for themselves. Why? They can't even receive love because nothing that you ever get or see or have or do the money none of it the people nothing will ever be enough for you if you aren't enough for you on the contrary if you are enough for you and you care for others love your neighbor as you love yourself then everything and everybody every teeny tiny little thing will be so much it'll mean so much to you you will be so grateful and how do I know? Because I, Liberty v. Justice, became the wealthiest woman to ever walk this or any other planet while I was sleeping outside. Why? Because I care about you. I care about people, including the greedy, selfish, poor guy who will always be poor until or unless he changes his attitude, who loved money. The love of money is the root of all evil while he was getting paid for it instead of a man who was dying including him i care for him too and it's easy for me to say that it's harder to feel it but i can do it by simply saying hey that's why you don't have any money because all you care about is money instead of people that's what i told him so when you care about people people will care about you they will care about you with their cash sometimes. So thank you to all. I don't want to name them all because some people don't want to be named. But thank you to all of my recent investors in I'm Worth It Incorporated. I incorporated I'm Worth It, my umbrella, to my M my entertainment empire, which is many Fortune 500 com companies. The Lord says do not despise these humble beginnings. While sleeping outside, COVID-19, all the riots, I did all this because I know I'm worth it and I know you are too. So thank you to all my investors. Thank you to all the people from TikTok who come over here to YouTube for me. Thank you to all the people who are subscribing and commenting. I love you guys so much. And also I want to give a special, special thank you to my boy Rhythm Rug for communicating with me and sharing with me how I can make the channel better. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and sharing and all that good stuff. And thank you for investing in me financially. And if you enjoyed this episode and you got value from it, do me a favor. My PayPal link is below. You could send me at least $25. I know you can come out your pockets. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And everything that we do at I'm Worth It Incorporated is for you. To show you that you are capable of creating the life that you love. And that you can do anything you want to do. You are infinite in value. And you can manifest that into your money too. Into your hands. Into your bank accounts if you just have the bank of belief. Thank you so much. Tell me your name in the comments. What's my name, y'all? Liberty Justice with my mind on my money and my money on my mind to show you the way. I am your Harriet Tubman on the path to financial freedom. Thank you so much.